Hey everyone, so in this video I wanted to talk about background audio and how you can add uh, background audio, um, delete items from your background audio playlist, and also just delete your entire playlist. So what you want to do is first I like to source the audio that I want to include as background audio and then just um, for ease, I usually toss it onto a slide um, within my project and then I'll delete that slide eventually. So right now I have some audio tracks that I've sourced and I'm going to go into the insert ribbon and audio and then you'll see that there's an option for background audio. So right now we have no background audio, which is the default, but we're going to create a playlist. So select create, create a playlist. And then what you'll want to do here is name your playlist. So course number one, background. And then what you'll want to do is populate your playlist. And so I'm not going to really talk too much about uh, customization because we're going to talk about that in another video but all you have to do to add your audio is select the plus icon, add audio. You'll have a drop down where you can select from file or from media library. So if you have them in a folder uh, and that's easier for you, feel free to go search your um, local drive for that. But I currently have my two tracks in the media library. So I'm gonna select media library and I'm going to insert both of these. So all the audio that I have in my media library would appear here. Um, right now I only have these two audio files. So we're going to add Moonshine and then we're going to add Night in Kyoto. So now I have both of my um, pieces of audio. And if I want to remove one, all I have to do is select the track and then hit the trash can to delete it. add that back in and if I wanted say oh you know I wanted track two to really be my track one all I have to do is uh, use the up and down arrows to move tracks around and that's all you have to do once you've got all your tracks in there just click OK and now you have a background audio playlist and so when I go back into insert audio background audio, you'll see that no background audio has been deselected and our playlist has been selected.